question five. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of room down here. I'm just going to I'm going to summarize what we've got. Okay. So follows a normal distribution, and we've got twenty five. But we don't know what the standard deviation and the variance are, all right? But we're told some information in a different way. Now, let's summarize what we've got. Now, I would always draw myself a little diagram here. So what are we actually told? We're told in the information in the question, given 15% of bottles contain less than 24.63. So we're told 0.15 and we're told that this figure is 24.63. We know that this is 25. What this will enable me to do is to work out how many standard deviations we are below the mean. So what we need to do here is that if we think about our 24.63, and if we take away our 25, so actually just thinking about the gap involved, divided by the standard deviation. Now, I need to know how many standard deviations we are below the mean. Now, the, again, the easiest thing to do here is on your calculator, just do an inverse normal. And let's put in 0 0.15. And this time, I'm just going to put 1 there and 0. And this will just tell me how many standard deviations we are below the mean. So if I press equals, and there we go. All right, so I need that figure there to be minus 1.0364. Okay, so that's just using my calculator. From here, I can now work out how many standard deviation, uh, sorry, how, what the standard deviation value is. Multiply both sides, okay, it's a nice simple bit of maths there. So you should be able to get standard deviation is 0.357. Right, now let's go back and actually see what the question is. Find to do decimal places, so we need to work out what this point is in here. So let's think about what that means. So it's asking me to go from here, so that's 0.15 over there. So if I plus 0.45, that's going to be about there. So it's telling me, so I know this is 0 0.45 in there. I need to work out what that point is just over there. All right? That's what the question is really asking. So in order to do that, 0.15 plus 0.45, wait a minute, that's 0 0.5. Six, isn't it? Maybe just draw another little diagram just to help you. Okay, so I want that lot to be 0 0.6. I know what this. Um, I know what the mean is. Okay, that's there, and we've just worked out our standard deviation. And if I just plug those into my calculator, okay, so that's going to give me 25. Point zero nine four k. All right. So all you got to do is just got to plug that information in. All right. Um, so we've worked out what k is. Right. So now let's have a look at at part b. So let's have a little think about what we've been just told on part b. So a random sample of two hundred bottles is taken. So let's just scan. Just noting down what we've got here. It says a normal approximation. So a normal approximation, let's just use a different letter. So that's where we've got MP and MPQ. And that's where P is equal to 0 0.45, Q is equal to 0 0.55. If you read what it's ask, asking you here, it's saying, using a normal approximation, find the probability that fewer than half of these bottles contain between our calculated value there, right? We don't really need to worry about what, what that K was on, on this part of the question, all right? So all we're going to do here is, now it says fewer than half of them. So we just need to make sense of what that means. 
So that's like less than 100, isn't it? But because it's an approximation, remember you've got the, like, the bars and your approximation. When you say it's fewer than 100, like that's there, we need to go, it's actually fewer than 99.5. So you need to make that correction there. So imagine like 100 there. So we're going to actually have to come down 0.5. So that's what we've actually got to work out. So if you plug in what we need here, that works out to be 90. That works out to be 49.5. Remember, that's the, that's the variance. You've got to square root that for the standard deviation. OK, so the standard deviation would equal uh, root 49.5. Plug that lot in and we get 0.91. Two, just there. Right, let's squeeze in part C, just down the bottom here. All right, so what are we told on part C? So we're carrying out a hypothesis test. So null hypothesis is where the mean hasn't changed, okay? So it's still 25. And the alternative is it's going to be, it's less than 25. So we write that information down first of all. What else have we got? Well, we've got n is, is 20. Now, the problem with this, so we're looking at 5%, looking at 5% level, okay? Now, the problem with this is what's the standard deviation, okay? Because it's not going to be what we were working with before, that 0 0.16, okay? Um it's actually going to be equal to 0.16 over root 20. So that's the figure that you need to work with. And we've got x bar is equal to 24.94. So what you actually really need to do is you need to find out, so how much below is this? than 25. So is it like an outlier or not? So can so the calculation that we need to carry out here is, is what is this figure here? We've got our parameters. We've got this and then we're working with the 25. So again, if we just plug that in, we get 0.0468. Right. So 0.0468. So we need to write something like this is is below 0 0.05. Remember, we're working a 5% level of significance, right? which is what the question asked us to do. Now, we need to, that's going to evidence to support H1, the alternative. So I might go a little bit further, and I might just say, so this suggests that the mean is actually below 25, right? I actually put it into the context there as well, just to get the full mark there. 